So today is a major political test for French President Emmanuel Macron as his landmark but unpopular pension reforms go before the lower house of parliament in what's expected to be a decisive vote. Unions have led weeks of protest and of strikes against the reforms which are opposed by about two thirds of French people. But today, the fate of the legislation will be decided not in the streets, but in Parliament. This morning, the Senate, the upper house, adopted the bill. However, it's passage through the National Assembly, where Macron does not have a majority, is far less certain. Covering events for us today at the National Assembly is our reporter Claire Pakalash. She joins me live now. Claire, it's a big day today, clearly, but we aren't exactly sure how the next couple of hours will pan out, even if the vote will actually go ahead. What can you tell us at this stage? That's right, Nadia. We are in a waiting game right now. At three o'clock, so in an hour's time, that parliamentary session should open and we expect MPs to vote for or against this reform to the pension system. But we understand that Emmanuel Macron is meeting with his top ministers as well as his prime minister, Elisabeth Bourne, at the Elysee Palace right now, just across the River Seine, and they are deciding whether or not to go ahead with pushing through the reform without a vote in Parliament. That would mean using the 49.3 mechanism that's part of the French Constitution, and it's basically a way of pushing through certain legislation without having a vote in Parliament. Now, of course, it's extremely controversial. Up until now, Macron and his Prime Minister have made it very clear that they do not wish to use the 49.3 article of the Constitution. They want a vote in their favour in the National Assembly, but that is not looking particularly likely, or it could come down to a handful of votes. So they're basically working out now whether or not to take the gamble. Do they go ahead with the vote, risk losing it, and then push ahead with the 49.3 mechanism in the Constitution, or do they just cut, their, cut the things right now and go straight ahead with the 49.3 right now? That's what they're deciding. So in the next half an hour to an hour, I'll have more news for you as we wait to find out what the government decides to do. And whatever is decided today in Parliament, one thing that is clear, Claire, is protesters are not happy about this. They've been making their voices heard for weeks now against this legislation. And they're actually out in the streets today, not far from where you are. Absolutely. Protesters are gathering right outside the National Assembly. There's a large police presence keeping them reined in for the moment. The trade unions have been united in their condemnation of this reform and they have promised, they've reiterated their promise today, that if it gets either pushed through with the 49.3 mechanism of the Constitution or if it's voted on in Parliament and the vote is favourable to the government, they will continue their fight, they will continue continue strikes. They're even promising new forms of action. And we know that the dustbin collectors in Paris who have been striking for more than a week now, that's why you can see piles of rubbish glittering parts of the capital. Those dustbin collectors have also voted to continue their strike to at least next Monday. So whatever happens today, it's not going to be the end of the story. Claire Pacalin at the National Assembly. For now, thanks very much indeed. We will, though, uh, be checking in with Claire throughout the afternoon as we keep a watch on what is happening in Parliament there.